Hi, it's Ashley from Sweet Dreams Bake Shop, and today I'm going to show you how to decorate the suspenders and bow tie cake for Father's Day, or for any occasion. I crumb coated this cake and I let it chill in the fridge for about an hour, and now I'm taking it out and I'm covering it with the fondant. If you're wondering what all that white stuff is on my hand, that is cornstarch, which I use to prevent any sticking from happening. Now, as I'm covering this cake, it's always a little bit trickier with smaller cakes because there's so many folds and it's also an extra tall, so you do have to be a little bit more careful when you're adhering that fondant to the side of the cake. Sometimes if I'm getting too much bunching going on at the bottom, then I will quickly cut off that fondant to prevent any ripping from happening. So I started smoothing out this cake, as you can see with my fondant smoother, and I also sometimes take a board there to kind of start creating that edge. Also, because this was in the fridge for a little while before I actually covered it, it was more susceptible to having air bubbles form, which I just popped with a pin. Incidentally, as I was doing this, my friend who just popped over for a visit came and finished smoothing that up for me because I had to go and tuck my daughter in bed. And as you know, with fondant, it is time sensitive. If you leave it too long without smoothing it out, you're going to develop elephant skin, which is not going to make the smoothest of fondant textures. Now I'm creating the details of the actual shirt itself, and I'm gonna go really simple on this. It's more like the idea of a shirt rather than making sure I have every single detail in place. So I just put a little strip of fondant on here, and then I'm using this tool, which actually creates little mini stitches. Don't be afraid to play around with this as well to make sure that things are nice and straight. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to use some piping tips here to create buttons. Now, of course, if you have a button mold, this will be very, very simple for you. I always find though that since I want particular sized buttons, I like to make them myself. And to adhere all of this fondant to fondant, I use my steamer so that I create a light steam on there. It makes it slightly sticky and then you can really stick anything on. Sometimes I will occasionally bring out the paintbrush and use a little bit of water just like I did back in the day, but I only use that if I don't want to steam something around the surrounding areas. So for the most part, I do use the steaming technique. You'll also notice that I kind of created the buttons directly on there instead of doing them separately. That's just to make sure that things didn't fall out of place and get a weird shape. By the way, I absolutely love this pastry cutter. It creates even lines every time. And if you do a lot of cakes like this, or if you create a lot of bows, really anything that requires symmetry, you will love this investment. And I will link everything down in the description box below that I'm using so you can see what I have. Now feel free to lay these suspenders however you see fit. Sometimes I see it crossed like this and other times I see it just straight back. It's totally up to you. You'll also notice that I am giving it a good steam in between each addition. Before, when I started using a steamer, I just kind of would do it at the very end, but this allows you to continue to stick on all of those details, including ribbon. You might recognize this little mold as part of my haul video that I did the other day. So I'm trying this out for the first time and this is for chocolate, but you can also use fondant as well. Now, if your fondant is not easily removable from those molds, just pop it into the freezer for a little bit. And after that, it should pop out very easily. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make the bow tie for this. Now, ordinarily I would make the bows a little bit differently, but I do want this to have a bit of a straighter edge. So I am not going to fold in that top edge like I normally do. I want this to be more of a cut, kind of like a real bow tie. Some people like to make their bows by making them two pieces and then connecting them together. I find that I get things a little bit more stable when I do it all in one piece. And then of course you're going to cover up all those messy bits in the center using that little portion. And I'm actually going to make this a little bit fancier and add on another smaller strip as well. Now with something like connecting all of the pieces of the bow, if your fondant was quite dry and it wasn't adhering together, then I would use my paintbrush and water and I would not steam it because it would become too sticky and I wouldn't be able to actually handle the piece of fondant. However, when actually adhering the bow to the cake, I find that the best way to do this is with steam. Before, when I was first starting out, I tried to do it with chocolate and honestly, this is the best way. I love the combination of colors here, but you can honestly choose whatever colors you would like. Also, you could go the extra step and add on some stitching, not only to that shirt part there, but also to the suspenders too. 
Now let's get into the pricing of this cake. And lately, guys, I've been getting so many comments about the pricing of my cakes. Now your pricing is probably not going to match mine exactly. I just share it with you as a little bit of an interesting fact. Or if you're trying to glean more information for your own home-based bakery, then this is just a guide for you to see what other people are doing. And that pricing really comes from all of that fondant detailing and work. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can be part of the Sweetie Fam. Right now, I'm uploading weekly, so make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Also, be sure to comment, request, or ask a question. I love hearing from you guys. Bye!